we're going back to our forces and motion FET simulation. But this time, we're going to explore the other media that are built in here. So if we go down to the bottom and click on motion, we find one that's a little easier to see the resulting motion and the changes in motion than the tug-of-war media. In this one, we have a person pushing on a cart. And if we select a positive force, they push to the right. And if we select a negative force, they begin to push to the left. We have a scale at the bottom that we can adjust forces with. Or we can use little arrows to jump up in 50 Newton increments, which is kind of handy. At the bottom here, we have some objects so we can add to the cart that we're pushing, which increases the mass. Again, we can go up to the top right and add all kinds of information to what we're watching here. Now there's one thing missing in this media, and that is friction. So this media kind of represents the world that Newton had to envision when he was coming up with his three laws. But friction is part of the real world, so once we get a feel for the forces here, we can go down to the bottom and choose friction. And it's very, very similar with the addition being that now we have friction. So there's a scale up in the top right and we can adjust the amount of friction. And we could go back to no friction, so it's just like a big sheet of ice or even slipperier, and we can play with it there or we can add as much friction as we want. Again, we can force to the right, but we recognize now we have a force opposing us this time, and that's the force of friction. So once we have a good feel for this, we can go down to the bottom and we can select the last media. And what this does is it allows all of the previous ideas, but now we have a little scale for acceleration. So we can see the acceleration or the change in motion more easily. And another way that we can visualize the acceleration is we have a bucket of water. And so as we add some forces and we get a net force here, need quite a big force here to overcome the friction. Then we can see in the water bucket that it's tilting, indicating some acceleration. So play around with all three of these, advance them as you get used to them, and you'll understand a whole lot more about not only forces and net forces, but Newton's laws relating forces to motion.